What's going on everyone? TJ Fitness the News Reviews and together with me. HDO2 supplements pre-workout. Yeah people, Greg, do set. Listen people. I know, 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 I know. There is tons of people out there wanting to know is this shit for real? So listen, I'm gonna take you through the label of this thing. It's not gonna take us a lot of time. This is not a long ass label. But then I'm actually gonna share with you my personal experience using this one five times now. Five times. And then towards the end of the video, as usual on this channel, I'm gonna give you my final verdict should you actually still give a shit. And all I'm gonna ask in return, by the way, is that you hit that like button. Okay, people, so some house keeping announcements here. There's not gonna be any dick sucking. There's not gonna be any ass kissing. There's gonna be zero, zero oral activity when I review this shit. You know, Greg Doucet is huge. By the way, super smart guy. Love the whole, sh you know, the whole show thing. Really like it. And obviously, he has a lot of followers. So, you're gonna see tons of reviews coming out from big and small review channels that are gonna suck some Greg Doucet dick because they want to get a mention, they want to be in his favor, you know, just like the Gorilla Mind stuff that I reviewed, and again, really like Derek, super smart guy, super successful, just the pre-workout. I didn't like it, I'm going to link to that review below, by the way. So, uh, I'm going to give this an honest fucking opinion, people, as usual, as usual, zero oral activity, like I said, like the people, I don't have to like the pre-workouts, but maybe I will, maybe I will. Anyway, listen, people, so HDLT supplements, this was really interesting. I ordered this literally the day they announced about it, they announced it because I knew, I mean, I wanted to try this. There was so much noise around it. And all sorts of reviews came out, uh, you know, dissecting the labels, which is fucking retarded. You, labels are just fucking labels. That is a scientifically proven fact. You never know how these things come together. What? Oh my God, he put uh, whatever... Uh, Two grams of betaine. Oh shit, I'm gonna feel that too. You know that two grams of betaine with a sitcom is gonna be amazing. Are you fucking crazy? Listen, people, you should be smarter. All these review channels are stupid. Okay, uh, let's go into this, people. So, I mean, you know the person, right? Like, if you're watching this review, you know the person I mentioned. I really like him. Super smart. Love the channel. I think he's growing leaps and bounds. Anyway, super smart guy. Knows what he's talking about. I suggest actually you go and check out his channel. It's, it's good entertainment and he's smart. But anyway, the pre-workout, he came out with his whole line. So like I said, I ordered it the first day, waited for fucking, I think, three months. They had some uh, delays and manufacturing issues. Three months, three fucking months. And I don't watch the channel, his channel usually, so I'm assuming he talked about it. But I was like, what, what the fuck is this shit? Anyway, not the best customer service uh, start to a brand, but you know, shit happens. Anyway, let's get into this. So you have one scoop, two scoops. Fuck your one scoop, two scoops. We're the two scoops channel here. Two scoops. I'm assuming there's some people who go one scoop, maybe one and a half scoops, but I'm telling you, we're the two scoops channel. That's it. Steam Junkie channel here. We, we want this shit to work. We want this thing to hit. Okay, two scoops is 33 grams, so that's a big ass serving. Let's see what it's made of. 20 servings, by the way, on uh, two scoops. 20 servings. Okay, uh, what do we have here? So we have L-Citrine at 10 grams. 10 grams. Is that the same amount as... Uh, the Derek one, the Gorilla Mind? I don't know. Maybe. It's a lot of l citrine You don't, generally speaking, don't need so much l citrine Then you have uh, malic acid at 3 grams, so they separate. Yeah, this is like the Gorilla Mind thing. So like 13 grams altogether citrulline mallet. But anyway, it's a lot of citrine. That's going to help you with pumps. You have creatine at 5 grams. I'm going to stop uh, trying to remember the Gorilla Mind uh, pre-workout. It left zero impression on me, <laughs> so it doesn't matter really. Okay, creatine, 5 grams. So, you know, creatine, it's interesting. It's a choice, right? Do you put it on pre-workout or not? This is not something you're going to feel immediately. It's a, you know, it's a loading. You need a loading period and it's an overtime type thing. If you take your creatine separately, you're going to say, did I take it separately? Did I not? Did I take it in here? Anyway, whatever. Creatine. Beta-alanine at 4 grams. I like, you know, I think the Derek one didn't have beta-alanine. I love the tingling here. We love the tingling here on the channel, generally speaking. If you don't like the tingling, by the way, you can read the disclaimer, fuck you and get off my channel. Go watch some pussy ass channel that doesn't like tingling. Um, I mean, you, you know what? You don't have to go off, like just stop watching the video. We're just not going to be very close friends. I'm just telling you, we're not going to get along. 
Okay, betaine nitrate, uh, NO3 tier, 2 grams on 2 scoops. I, I love this ingredient for pumps. This is a solid pump formula so far with the combination of l citrulline betaine and uh, betaine nitrate. Super solid pump formula. I like betaine nitrate. Listen, it's an expensive ingredient. It, it doesn't, doesn't, does not disappoint, usually. Assuming they actually put it here. Then you have L-tyrosine at one gram for focus. That's, you know, now we're starting to see more and more like two grams of L-tyrosine to help with focus. It really depends. By itself, you're not going to feel it. It's, it comes in a combination with a bunch of other stuff. Rodiola rosea at 100 milligrams. So it's an ingredient that you're starting to see more and more. It's sort of an adaptogen. It's going to help you anti-stress, get you in the zone, focus. It's a good ingredient. 100 milligrams is okay. I've seen more, seen less, doesn't matter. Theobromine, 200 milligrams, another ingredient you're starting to see more and more. So theobromine... It's like a mild stimulant. It has more a prolonged effect. And again, you're not going to feel a lot of these things by themselves. It's a combination. And in any case, labels are just fucking labels. So it all ma what matters is what it actually feels in real life. So I'm going to get this shit over with so I can get into real life. Okay. Uh, Citcholine, uh, sodium at 400 milligrams. Good, good ingredient for focus. I like it. And then you have caffeine at 350 milligrams. So that's a good amount of caffeine for two scoops, right? One scoop, 40 servings, 175 milligrams of caffeine. Think about like a monster energy drink. 350 milligrams is like a bang energy drink plus 50 milligrams of caffeine. Only one type of caffeine. So there, you know, you're starting to see more and more the sort of caffeine anhydrous that with the 40 minutes uh, half-life. And then like dicaffeine mal, have a couple of other uh, types of caffeine. So for more, more prolonged effect, this is straight 350 milligrams of uh, caffeine anhydrous like you would see in an energy drink. And then you have upersin, that's it, at uh, 10 milligrams, which is, uh, it's going to theoretically supposed to, to wrap the entire focus ingredients together and get you in the zone. So that's it, people. That's what we have here with this thing. It's not a super sophisticated label. Might I say, I mean, if I put the pump formula aside, which is impressive, just mostly because of the nitrates. And yeah, there's a lot of citrulline here. The steam and focus package is, to be honest, boring. Yeah, there's nothing super surprising here. But labels are just fucking labels anyway. You never know how these things come together. You never know what quality of the ingredients are. You never know what they actually, if they, if they measured it correctly. You, dudes, this is a pre-workout. Fuck your label. You either feel it or you don't. So anyway, people, let's get into the experience. And like I said, I'm going to refresh your memory that I don't give a flying fuck about who's a celebrity, who has a million followers, who's going to trash me. I just don't give a flying fuck. The older I get, the more you can kiss my ass. Anyway, so there's, but like I said, you're going to see reviews. I'm telling you, you're going to see a lot. And I'm talking Pornhub level dick sucking around this pre-workout, just like you can see Pornhub level dick sucking around the Derek one, the gorilla mind just because people want to be in their favor they want to mention they'll suck a dick for a mention right so anyway listen people let's get into this experience so start with the flavor pink candy blust that's the one i have listen i you know i give a flying fuck about flavors like the return on investment on flavor on a pre-workout is listen this you drink it for one second and you're supposed to feel it for hours that's the return on investment so fuck flavor as long as it's not disgusting i don't give a shit this is actually a solid flavor feels nice there's a very interesting like when you shake it there's almost a pop you know like it's an energy drink like a like a zeltzer which is really interesting i don't know if they meant it to happen but it does happen it's a good flavor sounds amazing flavor it's a good flavor who the fuck cares let's move on okay people let's get into the experience here so what listen i'm trying i'm assuming because greg Doucette has such a huge following that this is not supposed to be a steam junkie crazy ass pre-workout right because he has like a million followers or whatever he wants to go to the general masses right so I didn't expect this to be a steam junkie, DMHA, I was going to fly type shit. I didn't expect that. So I'm not going to judge this compared to whatever. M2, Assassin, Ares Titanium, uh, God of Rage, all this shit, you know, that makes you fly. This is not what I'm going to, or Defiant Unleashed, right? This is not, I'm not going to measure this as a steam junkie. I'm measuring this compared to my list of EDPs, right? Everyday pre-workouts ingredients uh, pre-workouts that don't have crazy ass ingredients that don't have more than 350 400 milligrams of caffeine no araya no dmha no nothing like that there's you can i'm gonna link below to my list of the best edps there's been some additions since then but it, best edps and um that's what i'm comparing it to ghost legend that's what i'm comparing it to right 
So listen, people, so let me start with the good part and then I want to go to the other side. So the good part is the pumps are real. This is a really good pump and I really like the beta alanine tingling. The beta alanine tingling comes in, it stays with you for like, I want to say 30 minutes. It does, it's not one of these tinglings that are going to stay for a very, very long time. But you're going to get that tingling, which is nice. I really like it. And the pumps are real. The pumps, these are the, like, this is really good for an everyday pre-workout. This has very good pumps. Best pumps I've seen? Nah. But definitely top-notch pumps. Where this thing doesn't deliver, at least for me, there is like, this just doesn't kick. I don't know what to tell you. This actually feels very much like the Gorilla Mine one. There's just no sense of urgency. This feels like you took 300 milligrams of caffeine. I do believe that that's what they have here, like they say. It's a, so what's on label is on in the pre-work. But there's just no sense of urgency. No sense of urgency. Like if I compare this to the stuff on my EDP list, like for example, Ghost Legend, let me go as fucking mainstream as possible. I'm gonna link to my Ghost Legend review below, V2. That shit had sense of urgency, it had a good feel, it kept you going. That was like that shit, EDP, mainstream, fucking mainstream vitamin shop, GNC, Ghost, right? Had a very good sense of urgency. This one just never actually kicks in. There's no energy sense of urgency, there's not any apparent focus in increase beyond the caffeine. It's just. You know, after like, uh, and I tried this, like I said, five times. I, I'm not one of these people that go one time, you know, you just, you had a bad night, your your wife's blowjob sucked, and uh, and you just don't feel good, so you blame the pre-workout. No, five times, different environments, different workouts, slept well in most of these times, and it just doesn't kick. There's no sense of, this feels like you took 350 milligrams of caffeine, there, and, and great pumps. Like I said, solid, solid pumps, but... It just feels like caffeine. So from an everyday pre-workout perspective, you know, we want the extra focus. We want the mood elevation. We want motivational. Again, not steam junkie level, but we want that. We want that energy kick. We want to be, we want a pre-workout that will keep us, will, you know, will get us going better than just 300 milligrams of caffeine. This feels to me like 300 milligrams of caffeine. There's just no addition. And if you look at my list of EDPs, Riot by Chaos and Pain, uh, Beam, even Beam supplements, very super mainstream. You feel there's just this elevation. You feel that elevation. You feel that sense of urgency. You feel that motivational sense of urgency. And and sometimes you don't feel mindset-wise of a sense of urgency, but you get that energy kick, that physical energy. This just doesn't have it. It's just a, a very much like Gorilla Mind. I'm not sure even which one of them is better because I just think that there's better alternatives to both of them. But if you're a beginner and you like Greg Doucet and you want a great pumps, and you're saying, listen, all I want is a caffeine. All I want is 300 milligrams of caffeine. I'm not going to take my creatine on a daily basis, which, I mean, if, unless you're going to take this on a daily basis, you're going to miss your creatine uh, schedule. But I want pumps plus 300 milligrams of caffeine, then HDLT delivers. But honestly, if you if you want an everyday pre-workout and you don't you just want to have a Greg Doucet thing on your, on your uh, shelf, just like a Gorilla Mind thing, then there's way better alternatives. Like I said, I'm going to link to, below to the Ghost Legend review. I'm going to link below to the list of uh, top list of uh, everyday pre-workouts, which Ghost Legend is not there just because I did it after I did the list. I'm going to link below to the Ninja Supplements, Ninja Up, which is definitely as an everyday pre-workout hits better. Again, this is just, it's not bad. It's just not, you're not going to remember this. You're going to remember the pumps. The pumps were good. But you're not going to remember the energy experience. I got like a 40 minutes after. I, so I got the energy kick of the caffeine 40 minutes in, just went away. And I had to push myself, which is not where you're taking a pre-workout, right? You, you want to. So anyway, people, like I said, you're going to see tons of 10 out of 10 pre-workout reviews. These are just, like I said, you might as well go to Pornhub and see some dick sucking because these are what these are. It's nice. It's not bad. They put some thought into this, but yeah, nothing interesting. Listen, people. This is the No Bullshit channel, people. No bullshit. Yeah, so if this review was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And Greg, I'm uh, like, if this is what you intended this to be, then you hit it right on the head. I just, it's, there's better alternatives for like $50 for 20 serves, definitely better alternatives. Uh, like I said, I'm going to link to them below. Listen, people, if this review was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more reviews like this, because this is what we do here. We help you make smart decisions about the supplements that you buy.